Greetings from Mob World. We back in the video, and today we got Charleston White, also confirms gonna snitches. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Gonna tell oh, we got gonna cooperate. We got gonna testify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, let's go and get into it then, man. Uh, you know, <laughs> the world want to know certain things, man, and only you. Uh, let's go. Only you know how to throw it out there, man. Uh, I seen, I seen a, I seen a shirt come out that say "Gonna Tell." Gonna tell it. Gonna tell oh. What do you got to say? Gonna tell oh. Gonna, um, we got gonna tell oh. Gonna tell oh. Uh, we got gonna cooperate. My nigga's crazy. <laughs> we got gonna testify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, God. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, yeah. Man. Did you yeah. foresee all that coming? Like, no, what I did, I yeah, did. Yeah. And, and we got gonna go to jail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's the other part of the, uh, the Snitch All Star team? Oh, uh, oh. Uh, the Snitch All Star team. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy, nigga. <laughs> the whole YSL crew. I told y'all they the were gonna do crew. it. The whole crew. I told y'all over half was go break. Boy, everybody <clears throat> laugh. He did say that a year ago, like a year, year or two ago. He did say that, bro. YSL is gonna fucking fold. They gonna fold, bro. And look what happened. They folded. Damn near his whole crew snitched. His whole crew telling. A lot of niggas didn't want to believe him. But now look at y'all. Dead fucking wrong. I said that last year. Over half. I haven't seen a crew yet. I haven't seen a gang. I haven't seen a mafia crime family that when they come in and gather up a bunch, it's only been one group. Waco. 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 <laughs> and they was from all different other bike groups. People died. Homie, nobody said nothing. Nobody was charged because of silence. They didn't have no phone conversations. They knew they was going to all be meeting up at Twin Peaks. They didn't have no videos. <clears throat> so, when I saw all the evidence, I said, they going to tell it. <laughs> so, they gonna tell I just it. sat down <clears throat> with an a undercover police officer. Uh, that took down the largest gang drug bus in the history of Fort Worth, Texas. The notorious four trade gangster Crips. Officer Teagan, the fishbowl. Historical case. Historical case. One white guy. Some Dunny Brasco type shit, homie. Uh, uh. <clears throat> When you read the, when, when, when you talk to him, right? So you always got the, the, the King Slime kind of guy. Yeah. King Slime. King Slime sitting in that motherfucker with commissary stack, goddamn me, Mr. past Slime. the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> King Slime got guards that listen to his music that'll bring him a cheeseburger if he won't. He got a male guard that'll take him out to the chow hall and let him fuck a female guard if he won't. That's King Slime. It's niggas around King Slime at the domino table. I ain't going to let nothing happen to King Slime because King Slime can put money on this book. King Slime, all right. Them other 99 niggas that's in there up under King Slime calling home, press one to accept, <laughs> two to deny. My nigga is crazy. Two. <laughs> My nigga is crazy. The mother nigga crossed the way calling. They can't get through. It's another nigga saying, say, homie, uh, you see if your girl click over and call my mama. When they call, the girl say, they say they don't want to talk to him. Motherfucker got court appointed lawyers. Think about how this going. Homie, mama got court. Everybody, nigga, only nigga got a lawyer. 
is King Slime. Just yeah. like in the fishbowl nice. case, <clears throat> only one nigga had a lawyer. What y'all want the rest of us to do with this court appointed lawyer, these past criminal convictions, and we got this gang statue on us? Nah, homie, uh, I, I, I know. I know, I, I know reality. I, I know that there's no real honor amongst thieves. Mm. Where niggas go keep the loyalty. If it's 27 niggas in that group. That's the oldest saying in the book. You know at least four or five of them niggas can fuck your bitch. Facts. If nothing else, you want to tell just to keep them niggas in here with you so they don't fuck your bitch. Because you y'all done fucked you holes together. You know that nigga got a move <clears throat> he got that might get your bitch. You know this nigga here eat pussy to a heart catch on fire. And your woman love her pussy to be ate. Oh, shit. You know you got a partner eat pussy to a heart catch on fire. She got to run and put some get. Hey, look, he, hey, he on to something. He's speaking facts, though. Bro, you in prison with your niggas, bro. You trying to do whatever you can to keep them niggas in prison, bro. Because you know, you know damn well one of them niggas on the outside going to fuck your bitch. If they get out, they going to fuck your bitch. Even if a nigga already out, they trying to fuck your bitch. Niggas in the hood. Your main nigga, your main niggas, they been the main ones plotting on your downfall. Trying to fuck you over. Want to fuck your bitch. The first chance they get to fuck your bitch, they going to take it just like that. Just like they take your jewelry, your jewelry and shit after you die. They going to take your bitch and fuck her after you die. Or, or go to jail, nigga. That shit, hey, there be some grimy ass niggas in the world, bro. I mean, they do Bubble that shit. Stop smoking. <laughs> and your woman, she love her pussy. And you don't eat pussy too good. You want to tell on him, keep him in jail with you. Play dominoes together with that dude. Don't let him lose because he go, he go, go, he go set her on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> I'm serious, no, no, nigga, I'm dead serious. He ain't like, lying. No, so yeah, no, I'm dead, motherfucker, serious. Now I get why you would tell, but um, they giving some of these cats felons already, convicted felons already, twenty years probation. They know you coming back, huh? <laughs> to tell us some more, to tell us some more information. But but here's the thing. Don't y'all know the feds can still come and pick this case up on y'all dumbass niggas? Right. The feds can come get y'all under the RICO federal case because y'all done pled guilty. Oh, shit. And come put you in a mean headlock. <laughs> Tell me some more, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> Tell me some more. Yeah, and, and yeah, they might put them niggas in. Hey, bro, and a lot of niggas, they don't like this nigga because... I guess he speaks the truth, bro. They don't like this nigga because he speaks the truth. They don't. Not everybody like the truth, bro. Y'all keep saying, oh, it's just the way he says that he's too harsh. Who gives a fuck, nigga? Y'all favorite rapper is too harsh. Y'all favorite rapper be saying all types of crazy shit in their songs. Y'all don't say nothing in. But as soon as a nigga like Charleston White say something, then y'all, oh, he's too harsh. Oh, he's too disrespectful. So? Your, your fucking favorite rapper is disrespectful. So, fuck it. So what if he said, fuck your mama? The thing y'all niggas don't understand is this nigga is a character online. Y'all getting caught up in that character. Get caught up in what he actually do in real life. Because what, what he actually do in real life don't correlate to what he say online. And he's just a character online. I don't take 90% of what Charleston say online serious because it's a character. He can't. He even said it multiple times. It's a character. That's not the real Charleston White. So what y'all niggas getting y'all fucking feelings for? Because he said, fuck somebody's mama or fuck King Vaughn. So don't y'all niggas say the same shit every day to other people's mamas and shit? So who, who gives a fuck? All y'all niggas starting to sound like bitches. I ain't gonna lie. Go ahead, like, them niggas go to Holland then. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah, homie. Uh, One nigga got 30 year probation. That's wild. <laughs> Nigga, I life, don't know life on probation is wild. Oh, uh, listen. Life on probation is wild. Uh, 
Yeah, they could have gave me 30 years with a GPS monitor around my neck at 41 years old. Oh, shit. At 41 years old, I'm with you 30. I'm doing too. I ain't doing nothing no more, young. I'm not lying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. He going straight. You best believe that. We ain't having no more problems after this. <laughs> uh, I think they need to start doing that to young people. Bro, if you 41 years old still in the streets, you a fucking goofy, nigga. If you 30 plus years old, and you still in the streets hollering about you a crip, I'm a blood, GDBD. Bro, go get a job, nigga. Go get a job, get a bank account. Go do something positive with your fucking life. You in the, you in, you in the streets as an old fucking man. So hollering about you a GD and crip or whatever, putting in work. Come on now, bro. Go get your little nine to five job at Wendy's, McDonald's. Get your little paycheck here and there and get back on your feet, bro. All this, all this gangster shit go out the window when you... About 30. All that shit out the window, nigga. Like, come on now. That shit is lame as hell. Bozo. I'm 20 year of probation. First chance they fuck up sitting there at the prison. Mm. Yeah, 20 year of probation. Yeah, man, that five. Oh, nigga with five years ended up getting 20 years anyway. So what do you say to the to the two YSL members that was offered probation but said, let's fucking take it to right, court? Oh, one of the photos. Oh, oh, so, so there's one nigga. Oh, we got, we got us another one. We got, got another one. Oh, oh, hey, cause the, hey, cause well, the gym. I'm mad at them two niggas. I said, I'm tough, motherfucker. Oh, tough. Yeah. Oh, I hope they give them the death penalty trying to be tough. One nigga, wow, oh, man. Send us him to send us that, that motherfucker that just playing tough. Send us him to death and see if he be tough then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rooting for the worst punishment ever. Bro, no, for and the judge niggas. told him this is a very um a generous offer. If y'all go before me in court, I will max y'all out. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm going y'all go, I'm going to the judge talk. That's what that's what made one of them go ahead and say, yeah. <laughs> say homie, when you when you call your mama, you you listen, when you make the call, you tough. Except the click call, press one. Hey, mama. Baby, what's wrong with you? Yeah, when you say, hey, mama, what's going on? Oh, baby, what's going on? They say, you, you, you're you not taking that plea. Boy, you got a mama, too. <laughs> you got a mama, got too, a mama nigga. Too. Yeah. Put that on a shirt. Listen, homie. Nigga, I done <clears throat> took the case. Nigga, me and I just got out the boys' home, homie. I've been gone almost seven years. I ain't even been out nine months, homie. My cousin go to school in Fayetteville, Arkansas, at the University of Arkansas. This nigga is the student president of the BSA, Black Student Association, but he want to sell weed. I'm the dumb cousin with the shooting cousin, the dumb ass shooting cousin, packing the gun, just getting out with the murder case. Mm. Uh, nigga, I jump in the driver's seat. Ain't a pound back there, mine. My cousin done brought a nigga in the back seat uh, that's really like a, a, a FBI agent or something, but he playing like he's 16. Uh, nah, homie, when we get stopped, I'm the driver. Only thing that motherfucking call mine is the gun. Nigga, I take all that shit. <laughs> uh, I, I went to a, a, a prison boot camp for like six months in, 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 in a RID. It was called a regimented inmate di discipline prison Bruh. boot camp. So I did six months in that boot camp. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you all something about boot camp. I've never been to like a military type boot camp, like a real boot camp, but I bet I played football all throughout my school years. Bro, high school boot camp was so fucking like, bro, that shit is no joke. You fuck up one time, you got to restart the whole training again. And again and again until everybody does it perfect. No fuck ups. If you at the end, I remember one time we was at the end, nigga. We was about to be done. One nigga fucked up. And we had to start all the way from the beginning. I was pissed off. And they had a little bell that you can ring to give up. And a bunch of niggas run that bell. I was like, nah, I ain't finna grow like that. I ain't no pussy, bro. I ain't finna grow like that. Fuck that. But that boot camp shit, especially in like actual boot camp, like military boot camp, that shit is no joke. Like, you got you got to do everything perfect, bro. Or you restart the bro. That shit. That shit is so fucking real. Ten pounds of weed and two firearms. Uh, I'm the tough cousin who just got out and done time. And I told my mom, "Mom, I'm gonna take the case." 
uh, so he can still go in school and be, nigga, my mama said, you got a mama too, boy. Your sister, nigga, I took the case. Only for him to say, yep, they're my cousin. Yeah, him, see, we would go hire the same lawyer, this badass lawyer named Doug Elliott. Uh, nigga, when me and my mama got out there uh, to go meet with the lawyer, nigga, my auntie and my cousin was already in there paying me to be the bad cousin. That's crazy, bro. So be uh, your own we went to too. trial. And uh, we had a mistrial. And the only reason we had a mistrial is because uh, that right to remain silent. So when the police pulled us over, I told them, nigga, man, just get your ID and don't say nothing. So when we went to court during the trial, the prosecutor asked uh, the arresting officers, so where were they headed? Oh, they was headed to Arkansas. So how do you know? Well, they had Arkansas memorabilia, Arkansas license plate. My lawyer jumped up and said, I object, Your Honor. Such, 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 right to remain silent. That mother judge said, find it in the law books. We can go to recess. And see, my lawyer went and found it in the law books. Whatever he was objecting to, we was exercising our right to remain silent. And because that motherfucker said something, we had a mistrial. Uh, because we didn't say nothing. We didn't. Look, my thing is, if you're going to be in the gang, bro, don't snitch. Because that's the worst thing you can do while in the gang. Now, if you're a regular citizen, I don't give a fuck. Snitch, I don't give a fuck. But, like, if you if you going, if your dumb ass going to be in the gang, don't fucking snitch. That's all I'm saying. If your, if your dumb ass going to join a gang, don't snitch. I don't, I don't understand niggas who act so hard, claim to be so tough. Y'all go to prison, court, court day's trial. And y'all writing grievances and fucking just complained about the situation, the living situation, and how they got you all fucked. Man, okay, but you 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 in the game though. You betray yourself to be a tough ass nigga. So go through go through this shit like a tough ass nigga. You got niggas in there snitching this shit. I'm like, bro, come on now. But y'all ain't supposed to be tough. Where Fuck we out of going. here. And so we had a mistrial. <clears throat> and so they dropped the tough, gun though. charges and, and kept the weed on the table. And uh yeah, I took the, yeah, I took the case. Oh, uh, man, my mom mad the motherfucker at me. How are you and your cousin? Oh, I bet she was. Uh, what you mean? He dead now. Uh, oh, but yeah, we fell out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we fell out, homie. Uh, because he made it, uh, he made it like I was stupid. Right. For taking the case. <clears throat> but he also threw a look. He, he was getting ready to roll a blunt that he had in, in, in like uh, a piece of paper. And he threw that out the window. I'm it was number probably maybe ten dollars worth of weed. Cops don't uh, care. They had just passed that law. Bro, I live in Texas. Weed is straight up illegal where I'm from. So, nigga, it, it's crazy too because if you get caught with weed by the police, they'll damn near give you life. And it, it, it don't even have to be like a large amount of weed. It can be like five grams, two grams, a gram. They don't give a fuck. They'll They'll, they'll throw 10 years at you, 10, 20 years off three grams of weed, bro. Look at what happened to Brittany Griner. She was down there about to do nine fucking years until America got her ass out. And she even, she had oil on her, not even bud, oil, like a small amount, like a gram, or maybe less than a gram. Bro, imagine, bro, imagine the type of punishment they would have gave you in America, bro. America, for some reason, America police don't give a fuck how much weed you got on you. If you got weed on you, they throwing the book at you. You got niggas who then committed murder getting off. They getting parole and shit. They get less time than niggas who get caught with weed. I'm like, bro, that is crazy, dog. They don't fucking care. And what, 1996, September 91, 96, where if you get caught with any kind of drugs or anything, you lose all federal assistance. Yeah, he, he, uh, he lost his student loan because he caught a drug conviction. He got convicted for throwing that little weed out the door. I got, I took the deferred adjudication uh, for the 10 pounds of weed. Uh, and it, it's not on my record, cause I took the deferred adjudication. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I had only been out for nine months on me. So- A little over a year. As I grew up and, and, and started doing youth advocacy and, and working with kids, uh, man, one of the first things I learned that uh, almost 90% of kids uh, after getting out of the juvenile facility, uh, it's rearrested within the first year. Damn. Uh, yeah. So I'm one of those. That's to let y'all know that shit don't work. That shit don't work at all. You end up right back where you was. But like, 
But yeah, man. Charleston White, realest nigga on the internet, funniest nigga on the internet. I love this nigga. We both from Texas. Texas nigga, nigga nation, bro. <laughs> that nigga's hilarious, bro. But I fuck with Charleston. I do. That nigga speak a lot of truth. A lot of niggas don't like him because he speak the truth. And he talks shit about game banging ass niggas who don't put in no work. As far as helping the youth, helping the black community, they destroying the shit. But y'all niggas want to get in y'all feelings when this nigga Charleston White say something about it. But y'all let King Vaughn and all these other niggas disrespect Tuka's mama, disrespect the whole black community, disrespect everybody. But y'all ain't going to say nothing in. But as soon as Charleston White says something, oh, he's in the wrong. The fuck out of here, dog. Y'all be acting pussy. The fuck out of here. Y'all letting words hurt y'all. The niggas a character on the niggas a character online. He told y'all this. He's a character online. Y'all getting caught up in the character. See what he do in real life. Cause the nigga actually helps in real life, bro. But I'm gonna get the fuck up out of here, man. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all boys in the next one. Peace.